Welcome to one of a series of instructional videos in navigating library resources. In this video, we will discuss how to search Galileo. First, go to the library's homepage. Once you have reached the library website, there is a link to Galileo on the bottom part of the web page. You can also reach Galileo by Googling. When you're on campus, access to Galileo should be automatic. However, when you are off campus, you'll need our password. Please contact a librarian at library at columbustech.edu for the current Galileo password. Galileo has many search options, including the Discover tool, Browse by Subject, Browse by Type, Databases A through Z, and Journals A through Z. If you utilize the Discover Search tab, keep in mind that it is searching all of our 300 plus databases at once, so you may feel overwhelmed with results. What we recommend at the library doing instead is searching individual databases. We will cover four of those databases. In order to reach an individual database, click on Databases A through Z. We are first going to go to Academic Search Complete, so click on the A link. Scroll down and click on Academic Search Complete. Academic Search Complete is a really great starting point for most research across multiple topics. When, whatever database you may be using, we recommend using the Advanced Search feature. Make sure you select full text for whatever items you are searching. In the search fields, utilize subject headings, titles, or other information to further narrow your results. As you perform your search, EBSCOhost will automatically update the results information. Add additional search terms to narrow your results. If you still have too many search results, utilize the left-hand sidebar to further narrow your results. For example, you can select a narrower publication date range. Once you find an article you are interested in, click on that article. You can read the full text PDF on the left hand side. You will also notice on the right hand side there are various tools to use, such as the citation and save tool. The citation tool formats multiple types of citation formats. It includes APA and MLA which is typically used at the college. Although these citations are useful, they are also formatted by a computer, so please be sure to double check your citations for accuracy. Returning back to Galileo, we are going to go over yet another database. We are going to Again, click on Databases A through Z, and then R, and then scroll down to Research Library. Research Library is one of our ProQuest databases, and it is, again, a really great place for starting your research, no matter what your topic. Again, you want to utilize the Advanced Search feature, select the search box, and utilize multiple search terms when possible. Select subject heading to guarantee that an article focuses on that topic.
Just as before, we can narrow the search results after the fact, this time on the right-hand side. For example, we could narrow our publication date range again, as we did before. Once we find an article that we are interested in, we click on that link. In ProQuest, you can typically scroll down and view the full text in your browser. And there's also typically a link to the full text PDF. Again, there's a citation function. Instead of being able to scroll through all types at once, you have to select it from a drop-down menu. APA is currently the default style selected. Again, these citations are formatted by a computer, so double-check them for accuracy. Heading back to Galileo, we're going to go over another database. Under Databases A through Z, I'm clicking on E, and then scrolling down to eBooks on EBSCOhost. Ebooks on EBSCOhost is a collection of ebooks available online 24-7, so if you need a book but can't get to the library to check one out, this is a great resource. Because we're searching much fewer resources than the articles, you can use simpler search terminology here. Once you find an ebook that you're interested in, you can click on the search result and then Click on the full text link to view the ebook. In order to navigate the ebook, you can use the arrows down on the bottom to navigate pages. You can also type in a page number and click Go. You'll also notice on the left hand side there is a highlighted table of contents, so you can jump to a particular chapter that you may be interested in. There's also an integrated search within dictionary, and again, that citation function here that's embedded into the document. So you can click on that citation link and again, get some formatted citations for your research. Heading back to Galileo, uh, this is the final database that we will be covering. Databases A through Z, F, and then Films on Demand. Films on Demand is a collection of educational videos across multiple areas and also has multiple publishers. Many of these videos also have closed captioning available. You can either uh, search by titles, browse by collections, or featured producers. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to click on one of these films. So you can either watch the entire film all at once or jump to a particular segment. You'll also notice the closed captioning is down on the bottom of the video, and there's a citation function as well. Citations typically include MLA, Chicago Manual of Style, and APA styles. This concludes a brief overview of the resources in Galileo. Again, we have over 300 databases within Galileo, so this is meant to be a general introduction and not necessarily a definitive list of all possible databases within Galileo.